Hello and welcome to Right Now for Monday the 6th of November 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. A new anti-Trump group made its debut on the streets of the United States, joining the likes of Antifa and Black Lives Matter, refused fascism, held rallies in 20 major US cities on November 4th with the slogan, This Nightmare Must End, The Trump Pence Regime Must Go. They went on a major publicity campaign, including taking out a full-page ad in the New York Times. Uh, it is truly pathetic that the left, even a year after Trump's election, still cannot accept that he's the legitimate president of the United States. Their hysterical claims about Trump that he would usher in a totalitarian regime have proven not to be true. The only threat to the freedom and, of, and security of Americans has come from leftist street agitators. Despite their talk, the rallies were poorly attended and failed to gain prominent media coverage. It seems you can only chuck a tantrum so many times before you're simply ignored. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has clearly been feeling the heat from the left for her government support for the Indian Adani coal mine in North Queensland. Her campaign stops have been constantly interrupted by anti-Adani protesters, and her Deputy Premier Jackie Trad is trying to fend off a green challenge in, in Brisbane. This is why she has, out of the blue, decided to exercise a veto over a $1 billion federal loan to Adani. This loan was to due to the fact that no banks were willing to lend to the project. The sudden change in policy after her government had already given indications it would rub a stamp alone has brought up questions about investor confidence in Queensland. It is the first major campaign blunder from Palaszczuk and again, again feeds the perception that Labor is still beholden to the Green left. The continuing citizenship saga uh, appears to be having an effect on Malcolm Turnbull's leadership as the longer he resists calls for a citizenship audit of all MPs, the more he looks like a Prime Minister who is trying to cover something up. Him decrying the exercise as a witch hunt or lynch mob isn't going to work. Calls from the back bench for an audit are growing louder, with former Minister Kevin Andrews stating the indecision from the government is a leadership issue. Labor, meanwhile, has backflipped on its opposition to an audit, with Bill Shorten supporting requiring all MPs to disclose their citizenship status to Parliament. Government Ministers Josh Frydenberg and Alex Hawke are the latest MPs to have questions asked about their citizenship status. As the Manus Island standoff continues, with the men located in the former detention centre still refusing to leave, Mel Turnbull has rejected an offer from New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern to take 150 of the men as refugees. This is the correct decision, as these men being settled in New Zealand is almost the same as letting them settle in Australia, which sends the wrong message to the people smuggling trade. However, maybe if the government had accepted the offer, we should just redirect all asylum seeker boats to New Zealand and see how long a den remains a bleeding heart for. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then.